In this video, <coughs> hi. In this video, we will be taking a look at rope blueprints in overall version five. Here I have a very basic rope that I set up in exactly the same way as we did in our previous video. The only thing that's missing is attachments. If I clicked play now, you would see the rope falling due to gravity because it isn't attached to anything. Uh, I want to be able to move my rope around by basically changing its transform. So what I'm going to do is add uh, OB particle attachment component and then drag the OB rope transform to the target of the attachment. And let's attach uh, the first control point, which I named start. If I now click play, you would see that I can move my rope around by changing its own transform and that the first control point stays Stays, stays attached, it follows the transform wherever it goes. Uh, as you can also see, the rope is quite stretchy. For now, to fix that, I'm going to select the solver and increase the amount of substeps to four. If I now click play, you would see that the rope is much less stretchy than it was before. Okay, so let's give uh, a more interesting starting shape for our rope. I'm going to enter the path edit mode and then select the add control point tool and then add a couple control points here and here. Uh, I'm going to move them around a little bit. And then also I'm going to change the tangent handles at the beginning and the end of the rope. Okay. Now, uh, if I wanted to have, say, a little, a little bump here in the middle of the of the rope, making it uh, thicker, I can enter control point mode again and add a control point here and one control point at each side of this central control point. Then if I select the, cent the center control point and drag its thickness handle, I can change the thickness of this section of the rope like that. Okay, let's click play and see how it looks. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now, let's talk a little bit about the blueprint parameters we have here, uh, as we skipped them in the first video. Thickness, resolution, and pulled particles. Uh, the most important ones are thickness and resolution. In order to be able to clearly see what these parameters do, uh, I'm going to select the rope and add an OB particle renderer to it. OB particle render. As you can see, we now have a particle-based representation of the rope clearly visible. Now, let's go back to the rope blueprint, and if I change the resolution, you would see that particles start to disappear from the rope. As this reduces the amount of particles that make up the rope. Less particles in a rope means the rope will be faster to simulate and it will also be less stretchy for the same amount of substeps that a longer rope uh, with more particles would be. If I click play now, you see that the rope is very, very stiff, both stretching stiffness and bending stiffness. Okay, so keep this in mind if you need to do very, very rigid ropes. Now, I can, I can also reduce the bending of stiffness of this, of this rope if you don't, you don't need such, such high bending stiffness. I can go to the bend constraints and increase the max bending parameter here. Uh, for now, we won't talk uh, much about what these parameters do, but just follow along and we'll explain them in a later video. If I click play now, 
you would see that the rope, despite having very few particles, is much more easily bendable. Okay, back to the rope blueprint and increase the resolution again. Now we have the thickness parameter. Thickness and resolution work together. If I increase the thickness of the rope, you would see that particles get much bigger, but the distance between the particles is kept constant. That's because the resolution is defined as the amount of particles per length unit. So if I increase the thickness of the particles, less particles will be needed for the same resolution. If I reduce the rope thickness, you would see that more particles are generated. This is again because we have a fixed resolution. So by, control, by changing the resolution and the thickness, I can control the amount of particles that make up my rope. Working with blueprints is really useful. If we have multiple ropes in our scene, and they all share the same blueprint, if I edit one of them, all other ropes sharing the same blueprint will undergo the same changes. This is very useful if you have multiple instances of the same rope in your scene and you want to edit them all at once. This is all for this video. See you in the next one.